up? Welcome back to another Coaster Brothers video. Right now we are at SeaWorld Orlando and today I'm going to be getting my first ever rides on Icebreaker, a brand new Premier Rides multi-launch roller coaster. And I'm really excited for that. Me too. It opened for pass holders a month ago and it opened for the general public on last Friday, so a week ago. And I'm going to be getting my first rides on it. Um, and then we're going to be checking out all the other rides here. So let's get into it. So we are about to get on Manta. It is a B&M flying coaster. And this is going to be my second flying coaster now. Yeah, it's crazy. My second one. got off Manta, a B&M flying coaster, and I had a pretty good time on it. This is my second flying coaster. Um, the only other one I went on was Super Bowl Ultimate Flight at Six Flags Great Adventure. Mako is definitely my favorite now. It has a lot more originality to it. It has more inline twists. The pretzel, the pretzel loop is more forceful. I actually grayed out on it, nearly blacking out. That element is so intense when you're at the bottom of it. And I got the back row, so generally that's more intense. And yeah. Um, so we will see you guys over at Kraken. Before we head over to Mako, there's Journey to Atlantis. Which is a water ride. And it looks like they're doing something to it. They drained all the water. There's literally no water in this area. So I think it's closed. I don't know what they're doing though. There's no like construction really happening here. So I do see a truck over there. As you can see guys, there's a truck. And then there's that like crane over there. So I don't know. If you guys know what's going on with Jordy to Atlantis, let me know in the comments. Cause I am not, I'm not familiar with SeaWorld too much. Since it is um, across the country from me basically. But yeah. So me and Matthew, Matthew, we just got off Mako, which is a B&M hyper coaster. And guys, let me just say, that is an awesome coaster. I got some of the most sustained Florida airtime ever. One time, like three whole seconds, guys. So I think this may be my new favorite hyper coaster, though I think it still is Diamondback. I don't know though. This is definitely a solid coaster, guys. And that was my 100th coaster credit. So, yeah. So we're gonna have lunch, and then we're gonna um, go on again, and I'll be showing you guys a POV. I repeat, please stand behind the yellow line. 
that on-ride reaction of Mako, me, um, Matthew, and my dad, hey. and we had, a, we had an amazing time, amazing floater airtime, so sustained, and the drop is amazing. If you ever get on Mako, you gotta get in seventh row, back row, the best floater. Yeah, guys. Now, we're gonna be riding on, um... <laughs> look, oh, cool, yeah. Anyway, guys, um, we're gonna be running Icebreaker for the first time. It's a brand new Premier Rides multi-launch coaster, and we're gonna be heading on that in a second. I'm gonna be getting my first ride on it. But guys, that video is not that on-ride reaction is not gonna be in this video. It's a separate video that you have to go watch. It's an exclusive video, Icebreaker first reaction. It's gonna be linked in the description below, guys. Um, so that will be coming out soon. So once it's out. Definitely go watch it. We're heading over to Icebreaker. We'll see you there. gonna be watching this like orca show they have at SeaWorld. I hope you enjoy some footage of it.
about an hour ago I got off Icebreaker. First thoughts on it, pretty good coaster. It's more family oriented, but there are some really crazy parts. The ejector airtime, two ejector airtime hills, they are so, so much ejector airtime. But there are some downsides to it. One, the launches are not very forceful. And if you're in the front row, you're not gonna feel that beyond vertical spike. And the comfort collars are kind of unnecessary. But overall, it is a pretty good coaster. It definitely is perfect for SeaWorld Orlando. They definitely, they, they needed a roller coaster like this. And now, now they have it, guys, so. Yeah, I just, I really like Icebreaker. I rode two times. Once near the front, once near the back. The back is definitely the better one because you get loads of ejector at time. A review of the coaster will be coming out soon. Again though, I think it's more family oriented. oriented. I'm not too forceful. Yeah, that's just my thoughts on it. And if you want to see my full first reaction to Icebreaker, go to go down in the um, in the description below. There's a link to watch that, as well as um, at the end of the video, there will be a link to watch it as well. So, um, we're just hanging out right now. Mardi Gras festival is going on right beside us. So, we will catch you guys later on in the day. We're gonna be riding some rides like Kraken and Manta, which my dad hasn't done yet. So he's gonna be getting his credits on those and I'm gonna be filming that. So, we'll just see you guys later on. What's up? Here's the coaster dad. Hey. And here is Matthew. And we are about to go on Kraken. I already went on Kraken late earlier with Matthew. This is gonna be my dad's first time on it. And we're gonna be filming on it. So we will see you guys on Kraken. Alright guys, we're heading on Kraken. Here we go. Kraken here at Sea World Orlando. Night ride. So sorry if you guys don't see much. It is a night ride. Okay. Here we go, guys.
That was cracking. Pretty, pretty bad. Um, yeah, guys, this this coaster definitely has a very bad rattle. This coaster has to get. Of course, we're gonna stay seated. How would we? Anyway, guys, this coaster definitely needs to be retracked um, by B and M. Yeah, we will see you guys off. Guys, what's up? I hope you enjoyed that on-ride video. Sorry you couldn't see much. We were on a night ride, but I just got off Kraken. Let me just say, guys, I have a lot of stuff to say about Kraken. Um, it is probably one of the roughest B&Ms I've ever been on. Um, and I heard it got retracked recently. They did not do a good job. They did not do a good job retracking re Kraken. Um, so it is now... Um, it is right behind my ranking between Rougarou and Kraken, but R Rougarou is still the worst. Rougarou is still the worst um, B&M Floros coaster. This is second worst, at least from what I've been on. I'm, I've been on about six. I still like Bizarro at Six Rise Great Adventure the best. Um, but yeah, they really need to. Um, they really need to redo that again, because um, th that coaster has a lot of potential. It has a great layout. Um, and it has so much potential to be an awesome, an awesome Florida's coaster, but it just doesn't meet that potential. So I will probably do a bad coaster review on, um, on Kraken very soon. And I also do not like the b and over the shoulder restraints. There's a lot of head banging, whether you put your head forward or not. Um, so now we're going to be riding Manta. Again, you probably won't see much. But I'm going to get um, an on-road POV for you guys. Not POV, but you know what I mean. I'll see you guys on.
what's up. Um, so, me and Matthew just caught a manta for three times, guys. Guys, I love this flying coaster. It's awesome. That pretzel loop, I grayed out all three of those times. I love graying out, guys. In fact, the last time I blacked out. Um, so I, I literally, I love graying out and blacking out. I don't know why, guys. It's like the vision, like, I don't know. I just love it. And I love this coaster. So now every coaster is a walk-on. There's about 45 minutes left in our day because um, the park's closing in 45 minutes. But um, it, it is empty, guys. There's like, there are a couple of people, but it, it is the majority of people have left. So every ride is a walk-on. Manta's a walk-on. Kraken is a walk-on. I'm sure Icebreaker is also a walk-on, but I haven't been over there for three hours. And Mako, definitely a walk-on. Guys, awesome. So, um, I think I'm going to wrap up our vlog right now so I can just enjoy the rest of the, the night. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you saw in this vlog. If I'm speaking and the Bush Gardens Tampa vlog has still not come out yet, guys, I am really, I'm really sorry about that, guys, because, um, it is a large file, 40 gigabytes, guys. So it's taking a very long time to upload. Um, so if it's not out yet as you're watching this, um, then I tried to upload it like a week ago or whatever. And still, it is still not, um, as I'm speaking, it's still not uploaded. I was supposed to release it two days ago as I'm speaking. Um, yeah, guys, um, I'm really sorry about that. Um, but the vlog is all set, so. If that is already out, go watch that. And if it's not, I'm sorry guys, I will try and get it out soon. If I have to, I may have to split it into two parts because each, because the whole thing is 40 gigabytes, guys. Because the entire thing is 5K, super good quality. So, yeah. Well, I'm going to be wrapping up our vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in our next coaster video. Stay on the thrill side of life.